red lines focusing on cones. Meanwhile, the blue has cube scored. 7454 quickly gets up on the charge station. 7457 able to balance as time expires. Red Lions with a slight lead going into the teleop portion. Looking in the middle of the field, we have mostly purple cubes set out as the preloads in the middle of the field. If there is no up or down to a cube, so they are usually easier for teams to handle. They're also easier to bump around and scoot toward their respective community. That may have been why the teams opted to go for the cubes this time. In other matches, you'll see that teams will put out cones on their sides or upside down or during lots of different orientations so that only specialized robots can field them from the middle of the field. Didn't take long at all for the middle of the field to get cleared out. All scoring is going to have to come from the loading zone on each side of the field. So we're going to see lots of cycling as 7457 weaves and bobs around 7454 with a cube in their possession. They drop it down in the mid and head back for more. Meanwhile, their partner's 2171, working on getting a cone from their loading station. Switching to the blue side of the field, 9119, playing some heavy defense, as their partner's 1646 have a cube in their gripper, trying to score it into the middle of the cooperation grid, and they are slow in doing so. They're successful in doing so. On the red side, there are no links established yet, nor on the blue side. Even though we've got some multiple pieces in a zone, only one counts per zone. We've also got a magical floating cone on the red side of the field. It scores no points. It has to test the carpet in order to be scored as a hybrid. First link of the match is established on the red side, and it is in the cooperation area, so you see the handshaking logo come up on the red screen. 7454 holding the door for their friends, rookies, Iron Legends. Breaking away and Super Duper already up on their station. As time ticks down, Blue Alliance working feverishly to get it to 1-0. Scores are ready, and we see there is a win by the Red Alliance. Super duper clinging to their third rank. Everybody else is in the teens and the 20s.